Hey guys, my name is Sue Valentine Jr. and today we have a very exciting unboxing. We have a Ertl Rusty, which is so cool. I got this Ertl Rusty by chance because we went to a local thrift store that's right near my house. And I actually have a whole nother video that I put up about that. We got to explore the thrift store. It was really fun. And I honestly just love thrift stores because you get to support your local shops. It was owned by a family. So I'm very excited to be able to, you know, buy stuff from there. And it was just great by chance. They have a lot of Thomas stuff. And my friend Chris actually got me this from the thrift store. So thank you so much, Chris. I'll be having his links in the description and I'll have credits to the thrift store as well. But yeah, make sure to support your local businesses. So moving on, we have this Rusty. They're so cool. I love their orange. They look so amazing. And they actually look, they actually look much longer in Ertl form. I always love the themes of these boxes. They're all blue and they have the different symbols on the side and we have all these credits on the back so let's get straight into opening this i think these are easy to open i'm not really sure it's been a long time oh yeah well it's opened <laughs> it's been a long time since i've opened an Ertl box i think last time i did was i think one of the horrid lorries or something i'm not really sure but oh my goodness ah it's so good quality they're really tiny and their design is really good here they are up close rusty looks so beautifully orange i love the yellow lining on their cab and they have the front window they have this little fake like the lines the shininess which is really cool to represent a window and i love their buffers so much their buffers are silver and it just looks really good I love the number five on the side. Everything about them is just really pristine. I love that they're like longer than usual models. For some reason, this rusty design is like longer. I don't know if this is accurate to the show. I think they're more shorter. But honestly, I always love when engines are like longer like this. I remember I always loved to play the, the Duncan put apart game online. I don't know if anyone remembers that little mini game where you could put apart Thomas and Duncan. Duncan was like the export run and Thomas was like beginner and Duncan was like kind of long in that game. He looked really cool. But yeah, so here's Rusty's door, doorway. And they actually roll really well. There's Rusty from the top. I still don't know what this is, if anyone could let me know. I always thought that was their horn, but I don't believe that's their horn. Actually, yeah, look, this looks like it's their horn, so I don't know what this is. That always interested me though. And their silver buffers on the front too. Erdo Rusty is just such a good design. I love their pristine paintwork. And their facial expression too. I love their facial expression and the fact that the eyes are kind of cartoonish. I think Ertl used to do this a lot back in the day. I mean, Ertl was always back in the day. That was the thing that was around before Take Along, so yeah they used to do that a lot whenever they were around and i actually like it a lot i like their little slit in the middle on top of their mouth so yeah that's all for this hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing make sure to like subscribe and comment for more videos like these and tell me what you think about rusty's design i personally love it i personally love their design and a little surprise i got this giant box of trains and tracks from the local thrift store and this will be part two of the thrift store haul coming soon so definitely stay tuned for that unpacking hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video peace and he, st oh! no! and he stopped right at the end of the junction Baldo was nowhere to be seen it's behind us da -da 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 -da.